Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in here on Raw Stat Reviews. So I haven't been here again for a while since no new piece came in, but I think the season is starting again now. And this is one of the pieces that will arrive here in 2022. Um, this is of course Hordak from Tweederhead, um, but not the regular version that came out a couple of months ago already. Um, you can check out my video review on that piece here on the channel as well. But this is the variant version which was, I think, announced around um, the San Diego Comic Con of 2021 and was then also on PO um, right during Comic Con, I believe. Um, this is pretty limited here to 250 pieces. This is actually number one of 250. So very lucky to have got my first number one numbered piece in. And basically it's a repaint of the original sculpt here of Hordak, um, where some of the accessories are missing here for this piece. So he doesn't have the staff left hand that comes with the regular version and it also does only have one head sculpt which is the exclusive head that um, was contained in the exclusive version here of that Hordak regular piece and it's missing the regular head obviously because this is the filmation variant as I said and so the exclusive filmation head of that regular piece um, comes with this filmation variant logically. Um, so the repaint is basically that his skin color is blue and not gray as with the other version. And then the reds are also a bit brighter here, um, I believe, than with the regular version. Also, the cape is different. So, very, very cool piece. Um, price point of 100 bucks more than the regular version sucks of course but on the other hand this is pretty limited and I think it will be relatively sought after um, in the aftermarket I would guess so I'm happy that I pulled the trigger I love Hordak and I was already contemplating buying two Hordak statues in order to be able to display the two head sculpts next to each other so I'm very happy now to have two variants here of this piece where I can display the regular head on the regular piece and the filmation head here on this piece. So let's jump in into the detailed review without boring you too much now with my stories here. And let's start off with the base as always. So as I said, um, so I'm filming here under artificial light. Um, so, but when you put up the brightness a bit, you can see that this reds here are, I think, a bit brighter than the ones from the regular piece. I'm not sure. It looks a bit, a little bit more cartoony like, which is intended, of course, I would guess. And um, the base is super, super cool. I already loved it with the original piece. Um, the mixture here of Castle Grayskull parts, the green rocks with the kind of mechanical looking horde base layer. And then you've got the separate PC that you just key in, which is the horde logo. Very large piece, very, very cool looking. And then you've got these two massive wings here um, surrounding the base. And Hordak is standing there in a Captain Morgan pose, as you can see, on that nice surface here. And the piece itself is really, really well sculpted. So Hordak got his claw feet, um, which are kind of barefooted. Um, I believe at least with the action figure from the 80s. I think here this should resemble some kind of boots. 
Um, and then you've got these shin guards here with the knee pads, which are the ape-like heads. Um, look very, very good. Super, super nice textures and detail here on the on the piece. And the blue also really pops, of course, with the kind of mechanical looking lines here um, in his skin or armor or whatever that should be. Um, very, very cool character, Hodak. Unbelievably ruthless horde leader. Um, also like the design here of the loincloth, how the little strands here are overlapping each other, looking really good. And then the metallic color here of the armor looks really, really nice as well. More horde logos here on the chest plates. Very cool. Also love that part here, which looks a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more like bone parts or something like that. And I've got a problem here, um, which really sucks um, because the QC could have been better. So this hand doesn't really fit in. Um, so you can see that it blocks itself here and you have a huge gap there. Um, and <laughs> I'm not sure how this can leave the factory like that. I mean, that must have been something that someone would have noticed um, when putting this together. Anyway, I contacted uh, Twitter Heads customer service and I hope I will get a replacement hand because that is really not looking good. And also the direction of this hand is a little bit unnatural because it doesn't sit flush in there. So that's a pity. Um, but other than that, the detailing here of the fingers and um, the hand looks awesome in my view. Sorry for that. Something went wrong here with the camera. So that looks great. The armor on the arms look also very good. And here you've got further ones of these ape-like skull it's on the shoulder pads, which look really good. And then you have the cannon arm, which um, is of course reminiscent of the formation cartoon. It looks really very, very cool with that formation-like look. So, picture here. We'll picture here again of this piece before we come to the head. Sculpt here which is fantastic. Love the shadowing here on the hair and um, neck part looks really good. That scalp looks amazing. Really cool looking. And then the kind of armor here for the back of his head looks also super detailed. Um, the cape is okay. It is kind of a, um, yeah, almost parka like raincoat material, plasticky, which looks really good. I think this is different to the to the other one. I can't remember whether the other one is also red. I think so, but it's definitely another material. I can't remember it being this kind of material here. Um, from the inside, it's very silky looking, very cool. Um, and you can display him with or without the cape. I think the cape looks good, but this piece looks also amazing without the cape. So let's just remove the cape here for a second. And then I will show you the look here. Let's remove the cannon arm also, because we have a 
switched out arm here for this side. Um, I'm not sure where the arm is at the moment. I think it's up there. Let me get it for a second. Um, let's see. Here we go. So let's remove the cape. Then we will get this arm in here. Just like that. And then you can see that this piece looks also amazing without the cape. I think this pointing arm option is also really, really cool. And now check out the back of this piece. So the details of the armoring here on the back are also second to none. Looking really, really good. So let's get a 360 here. So if they keep up the quality here with these masses of the universe pieces, like they did with Hordak and also Orko, where Tweederhead was also already involved. I think this line will um, proceed for a long time with hopefully many characters to be done um, because Tweederhead is really totally stepping up their game. Um, awesome quality. Apart from that um, quality issue, of course, with the left hand, which um, really, really sucks. I was really pissed, to be honest, to um, receive a piece where... I mean, this is a piece that doesn't have many kind of separate parts, and then the few parts it has, um, one doesn't fit. Um, that is not really good what QC control is, quality control is concerned. But anyway, I hope they will resolve this problem and then I will be happy. Um, and still, I think this piece is awesome. Very happy to own it. Um, and now I'm looking forward to see what, what you think um, about this piece. So please let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, give me a like um, if you have liked what you've seen and if you enjoyed the review. And please hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out here with getting more subscribers. And as always, I wish you a great day and we will see you or I'll see each other again soon here on the channel with I believe um, Sauron from Lord of the Rings, Prime One Studio. That should be the next piece to arrive here and can't wait to review that one. Thanks for watching guys and see you around. Bye bye.